Right, welcome back guys. And as you can probably tell by the beard, it's been a few days since the last clip to this one. So work's just got in the way. I've been too busy. I've not been able to get up here, unfortunately, through one thing or another. However, my nephew Jake came up here for a day and he managed to put the bum from for me, bless him. So he's really helped me out. So thank you very much, Jake. Um, what I'll do is I'll spin you guys around. I'll show you the progress on the car so far and we'll carry on with it. I've got to swap the battery tray because the bolt that holds the battery retaining strap, that's sheared off. Um, so I need to replace that, otherwise the battery will rattle around. So I'll try and get a close up of me doing that. And then hopefully that'll probably wrap this video up. And the final video um, will be me changing the dash binnacle because it's got that um, problem when you put the right indicator on the lights all flash. So that'll probably be the final video of that. Um, the final cleaner walk around. And then we'll go through the figures. So I'll just spin you guys around now and show you what we've been up to. Right, so as you can see, the car's back down on the ground. Um, bless him. So he's whacked the bump, bumper back on for us. There's a little gap there, you can see, which I've tried to pull up, but I can't get any higher. So it's just going to have to stay as it is, unfortunately. But um, where's this tripod? All the trim and everything's back on the bumper, as you can see. Uh, Arts liners are all back in. I've got to get two new back, uh, two new number plates for it as well, I think. But um, you can see that's all on there. Uh, so yeah, this is what I mean. The battery retaining strap, the bolt for, that's down there, where my finger's pointing to there, there yeah, there, are sheared off. So um, obviously you can tell why rusty it was. So. Rather than having it rattling around, I've got a spare battery tray up on the mez floor. So um, we'll head up there now, we'll get that, and then we'll make a start on swapping that over. I'll do that in real time, I won't do that uh, on time lapse. And I'll show you uh, some other bits as well. So by now you would have seen uh, the walk around video of the 2013 Stolen Recovered Red Lounge. Congratulations guys, everyone got it. It was on fake number plates, so it is actually a 2013, but the numpties that stole it put a 2010 number plate on it from a Peugeot. you think that at least would have put a, a Fiat one on, wouldn't you? But I know. So I said to you I'm going to get a new door for it rather than stodge it full of filler because we won't sell cars that have got filler in them. So here's the door. Obviously, it's got this trim on, but that's just stuck on. You can see. Pull that off. Yeah, it's stay stuck. I won't pull it off because I'll probably damage it. It needs to be heated up and taken off. But it's got the trim on it, but that will come off. And then the door handle will get loosened off. The trim at the top here will come off. The door mirror will come off. And then that will get fitted to the car. And then the whole side of the car will get blown in. So the first video after the walk around of that um, car, you'll see me fitting that door and everything. That anyway, before it goes off the Fraser at the paint shop. So I'll just take you upstairs. Got a few more spares up here as well the other day. So, uh, got a bonnet for that um, color therapy, Project Red therapy. We've got a bonnet for that. If you remember, it's got a little mark on the corner of it here, isn't it? The one downstairs. And I said to you again, I'm not going to um, stodge it full of filler. So, we've got a bonnet for that as well. That'll probably get painted. I've got a wing, spare wing there as well, a uh, spare steering wheel cowl, which we got the other day. Um, for the lounge because I think that one's broke. Um, what else did we pick up the other day? A spare door mirror, got one of them as well. Um, passenger door card, sorry, driver's door card to go with that red door that I just showed you downstairs. Uh, we've got another lounge steering wheel as well, so we've got a fair few spare steering wheels in stock now. Um, these look lovely when they're clean, these steering wheels, but obviously being cream. They uh, take a bit of a battering over the years, so whenever I get one that's coming that's not very nice, I'll try and change it for one that's better. So, I mean, these just need a clean. There's nothing actually wrong with them. Uh, what else did we pick up? I think we've got a lock set, uh, and I think that's it. So, yeah, picked up a few spares. Oh, we've got a new, um, another spare wheel and a uh, tool kit as well. We grabbed that the other day while we was there as well. So, yeah, we've got quite a few bits and pieces. Um, we've got some more trim. As well for the bumpers. 
I think what else have we got? We definitely got something else. What was it? Oh yeah, scent event. Yeah, we picked up one of these as well, and that as well. So we've got another one of them. So happy days. That's a point actually. I think the mint car downstairs needs that. So I'll whack that in. But, um, what did I come up here for? I can't remember what I came up here for now. Shot to pieces, and I. What did I come up here for? Uh, Rambling away. Oh, we've got um, another parcel shelf as well, so we've got three up there in stock now. Uh, oh, I've just found another one of them actually. <laughs> Didn't even realise we had that. Uh, I've still got to fit that actually, that multimedia unit. I've still got to fit that, the Android, into my wife's bath. But um, if anyone knows the reason, I've, I've looked it up on uh, YouTube, but I can't make head nor tail of it. If anyone knows, whip that out of there. If anyone knows why, when you put that in, you get no sound out of the speakers, I'd be very grateful if they could put it in the comments uh, to get round it. Someone said about connecting a couple of wires together, like the amp wire and something else, but I don't want to connect the wrong wires together, either risk blowing that or something else in the car, um, or putting a parasitic drain on the battery and have to get a new battery. So if anyone knows how to do that, um, please let us know. I just remembered, actually. Battery tray. That's what I came up here for. There we go. Wallet. So we'll take that down with us. That's me jibber jabbering away. Here we go. So what I'll do is then, guys, I'll set you up on the tripod, get you a nice little view under the bonnet, and then we'll crack on. Right, hopefully, guys, that's a decent enough view that you can see all right there. So, let's crack on. Let's see what we need. I think there's 10 mil for the battery terminals. Get that one sorted now. That one's off. One side, if you can. Right, and now the live. I don't know if I'll be able to get that one with the socket. I'm gonna have to have a spanner for that one. Hold tight. Here we go. Oh yeah, ten mil. These are. Should lift off there every day. And then we know that strap's already off. And then with a little bit of jiggery pokery, this battery should come out. Bosh! Oh, there we go. See what we do while this is out, actually. We'll have a little look at the earth strap underneath there. And if that needs changing, we'll change it or we'll add one to it actually. Uh, so then I think this plastic tray, it's been a while since I took one of these out, but yeah, the plastic tray comes out. I think there's three bolts underneath there, aren't there? It's got a little drain on the bottom of that, yeah. And that's one side. Some WD 40. And then there's one in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So to get the battery tray out, you've got 30 mil head there, 30 mil head there, and then in that hole there, I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a 30 mil head in there. Once you've got them free out, that tray should come out. Set you back up over here. Oh, that's all right. All right. Is it a 13 or a 10? I've gone a 10. I should have put the right size socket on, shouldn't I? Really, before uh, I just like pissing about with it. So, oh, Jesus. Yeah, so hopefully, there'll just be well, there should just be one more video on this car now after this one. 
which will be the final clean as I said and uh, changing the dash binnacle I'll do it all in well I'll do the cleaning in um, time that's probably or a majority of it anyway and uh, the binnacle I'll actually do in real time because uh, I've not done one in real time yet and I'll use my little uh, tool that I've got which will correct the mileage as well oh, let go on that here we go God, oh, Jesus. Give all this a good clean as well. In the rear. I might do that before I put the battery tray back in, to be honest. Right. Dump that down there, and then this should come out. I should pop these bits and pieces off as well. It's the only thing they clip so much crap to these, it's a joke. How does that pig come off of there? What am I missing down that side? Have a little look. Little flat end or screwdriver. Sure, this is do with the ECU. This one, weather's to it a bit crap now, isn't it? We had a beautiful weekend, and then the last day and a half, it's been chucking it down with rain, and it's turned out nice again this afternoon. Almost makes it impossible to make plans. This weekend, I'm uh, doing the Tour de Tendering bike ride. Well, on the Sunday, anyway, I'm working on the Saturday. And on the Sunday, I'm uh, doing a 20 mile bike ride. It might not be a lot to some people, but I ain't been on my bike for two years. Like that. I do a 60 mile course as well, but I think I'll probably finish that on a stretcher in the back of an ambulance or a, attached to a, <laughs> a defibrillator. So I'll start with a 20 and then a. Uh, Build myself up, I think, to some longer, longer distances. Yeah. So, ping them off as well. Come on. That one's off. That one's off. Oh, yeah, it's easy to get to that. I should have done that in the first place. Should come out. There shouldn't be anything else on that. He says. Should be it. Honestly, all that hassle. That poxy stud there that snapped. And you can't even change it as well. What a shite.
running keys and I think holding that ECU on there so yeah we'll swap that over let's put it to one side for a minute let's see what that earth strap's like to be fair it looks alright yeah it looks alright one of them has been changed in the past, it don't look too bad. Solid. I think I'll be alright with that. Okay, so let's hear what I'm going to do while I'm here though. I am going to... Do a cop grease out. No, I'll spray some WD on there. And the slave stand up. Sort this little box out as well while we're at. Yeah, fuse cover box on tight. Bingo, that one's on. I'm right, just going to give that a quick wipe in there. Not going to like to give it a clean, is it? Why it's uh, exposed, because it's never going to get a chance to be cleaned again. Superb. Right, um, I'm just going to swap the ECU over onto the uh, the new battery tray. So I'll be back in a sec, guys. I won't do I won't bother filming that because um, it's only going to take ten minutes and there's only four bolts. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, folks, we're back. I didn't realise the battery tray that I, um, I've got a spare, it was off of a diesel and they're completely different. So where the ECU mounts, it doesn't have these little raised brackets here, so can't use it. So what I did, being the engineer that I am, let's get that in the camera there. I cut, I took the ECU off so I didn't get any sparks or anything in it. I cut the old bolt off with a, a grinder and then I drilled uh, a hole, 9 mil hole next to it and then put a, 8mm bolt, eight, I think it's 8 by 25 through it, secured it in place of a nylock and then uh, got a, just a normal plain nut which will go over the top and that'll hold the, uh, the battery retaining strap in place. Jobs are good and I probably could have, if I suppose thought about it, probably could have tried and ground that off or cut that off but I didn't want to risk putting a hole in the actual tray, it's just easier to put that next to it and it should work. So fingers crossed. So let's try and get this back in here now. We've got that down there, through the maze of wires. Get that in place there somewhere. There we go, it should be about there. stopping it sitting down and it's yeah, there you pick the other ECU oh well, there you go it's out there you bastard there you go well oh, she's just a good one so let's get them two bolts in there to secure that in place for now So that shouldn't go nowhere. That's it, just to steady it up a little bit. There we go. Let's get these last little two. 
Put the knife straps on there before we forget them. The only thing with these, there's so many bits and pieces that attach to the battery tray. This fear, this is unreal. Let's get this back on there then. Retain it in there first. Uh, get that bolted down. Stop it wobbling about. I decided when we sell the next Fiat. I'm going to treat myself, I think I said to you in a previous video, DJI mic, I'm going to treat myself to one. I've got to sell another Fiat first. So that's there, that's there. That can pop through there. That little clamp in there like that. Positive. Closing that one, didn't it? I think it's so hard to get to as well. That one's done. It should pop off there. That's just the stop start mechanism, I think. It goes over there like that, get that out of the way. Uh, that one should clip in there like that. That one should clip. In there like that, and then these two bastards should go on here. second guy someone's just at the door sorry about it guys just the delivery driver <sighs> delivering a parcel for me for a, a job for the weekend for Saturday there we go so they're on just got to put an 8 mil nut on there now Well, I'll get a bit of tape to stick onto that. That's a fact. <sighs> Top tip for you. <laughs> Use a bit of copper grease. You should be able to put that around the nut inside it. It should stick it into your socket. Hopefully like that. 
And then when you plonk that in there, not only does it hold it in your socket, it lubricates the thread so you can get it off next time. How about that? Got to be honest, I wasn't sure if that was going to work. I was hoping it would work while it was on camera. But yeah, there you go, that one's done. You ain't got to kill it, so you've got to give it a little nip. And then just wipe the little socket out. Oh no, happy days. The little plastic tray goes back in with a little drain pipe that has to wiggle down the front. It'll find its way and that this is the path that'll take there you go straight down there yep down there you get don't actually have to be that long to be honest it's only got to just pass through there to stop it um filling up the water in a battery tray here we go i should have drilled a hole in this shouldn't i but what i'll do is i'll just give that a little snip side cutters and she's there tab off I don't want that I think what I might try if that happens again to be honest I think I probably will try and grind the old bolt off but this is perfectly adequate happy days Pop that down there battery back up that sits in there like that check strap with all these services cars you see on a previous video it looks like the cam belt's already been done, doesn't it? Because of the sticker. So we're on the aim straight with it now. Let's put this in the back there. It's in there. Okay, Bosch. And that. sits on there like that and then we just put a nut on there and jobs are good so I'll just go and grab a nut and I'll be right back right back guys just wipe that nut on there I'm just goodness, if you can see that repair done in there now. Right, just pop this back together. Turn this right down, which it is. Oh, 
nice and tight. <sighs> Clips back on there like that. Job's good and batteries in there tight. So that's it. That's another little job sorted. Right, I'm probably going to leave it there on this one, guys. It's dragging on a bit now, this video. Um, if you haven't already seen Wednesday's video, which is the video before this, please go and take a look because we've done a redraw for one of the top Don um, Bluetooth Diagnostics dongles because one of the people that won on the original draw um, hasn't been in contact, so we've redrawn it. So that person could be you. So go and check out Wednesday's video um, and see if you're the lucky winner. So... There'll be one more final video on this car now, Project Sean, and that should hopefully be it. So that'll probably be next Saturday's video. So until next time, look after yourselves. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.